So Manchester is home to lots of things, great music, great cultures, great parties. But it's also a fabulous place to start new businesses. And over the last few years, there have been great success stories from Manchester, from fashion, tech, media. But what's also been happening are new buildings, new office buildings are appearing where these small businesses, these uh, startups or small businesses can get access to not only great office space and meet other like-minded businesses, but can also meet professional services companies, access to finance, hell even apprentices, they can meet all these guys. So I've come down here to Princess Street to number 101 to one of the newest ones in Manchester called Accelerate Places to meet with Lisa, the community manager, and some of these amazing startups to find out who's going to be the next dot com millionaire in Manchester. Hi Lisa, it's Nick. So hidden away in this building above Satan's Hollow, if you've ever been nightclubbing in the rock world, uh, is this two-storey building called Accelerate Places, where the new, it's a new incubator for startups and small businesses. How does that work? Just tap to sign in. Tap to sign in. Right, okay, we'll go with that. I'm all signed in, um, let's do the tour. Yeah. Show me around. Let's go. Right. Okay, so great space. Ah, so the food. Yes, so we have our cafe on site here. Right. Uh, so we have our lovely food delivered by Bistro. Look, a familiar Manchester face, should I say. <laughs> so you don't do the food in house, you get the fantastic Bistro from, I was going to say, Spinning Fields. Spinning Fields, yeah, absolutely. We're building you in now. Uh, we're, we're still in the same, same area, still the, in the Left the Bank. The kitchens, as taken, I used to call We've it. just taken over one side of the kitchens now, yeah. So we're now on the left side of Left Bank. And you actually do delivery for here? We do, yeah, twice, twice three times a week we deliver uh, sandwiches, salads, soups. Yeah, uh, granola pots, pretty much whatever they ask us for, so. Which is uh, a pretty good choice in catering, may I just say. I do like to go down there and have a few nibbles myself. So this is actually a great space, Lisa. Massive! I can see there's a lot of room for growth here. So how long have you been here? We've only been open a couple of months, actually. We had our launch party uh, back in June. Right. So we had the, the official um, the panel discussion on this journey from startups to scale-ups. Because, am I right in thinking you're not just Manchester, is that right? No, we're also London and Nottingham as well. Right, okay. And so, um, how many businesses or how many people can you accommodate here? A total of 170. So 170 desk spaces. Yep. And, um, and what sort of businesses have you got in here? Because we're going to meet a few today. Yes, yeah, so we've got a variety of uh, tech companies, digital marketing, creative agencies, uh, some freelancers. Um, it's really open to everyone wants to use the space in a collaborative way. Right, okay, fabulous. So this space is drawing my eye. So what's all this about? So this is our event space. We've got a dedicated uh, book arena here where we've got step seating. People can book this out and they can run their own events. Uh, well, or just work here and wander around because it tends to be that when I'm on the phone I just need lots of energy and burning. So actually, I do need to make a call now. You wouldn't mind, would you? Yeah, no, go for it. Sounds great. Uh, Lena's here from Nuke. Yes. Tell me, what is Nuke? So Nuke is a crowdfunding dedicated agency. So we help um, projects on Kickstarter and Indiegogo raise as much as they can with whatever budgets they have. And have you seen any of your um, crowdfunding campaigns go really well, hit target, go over target? Yeah, so we've, in the past uh, 15 months we've raised over 15, 16 million on Kickstarter and Indiegogo, well helped raise of course. Yeah. And um, the biggest one was like a 3D uh, customized sound headphones by Osic X who actually also got into the um, oh, Abbey Road Studios accelerator and they raised uh, over 2.7 million. On Kickstarter but otherwise it was like in between 200 grand and up to like 500 600 so it's not a Manchester accent but no sorry so you've relocated from Dublin du right? Dublin Ireland yeah I worked in the Google headquarters there and uh, my colleague so my partner co-founder um, he was a Google trainer and how many staff have you got now so it's six of us six and have you recruited all of them from the local area yeah so all are Manchester based That's um, yeah it's really really exciting we're really happy and really the community here has been I mean the amount of people that we've spoken to in the past three months since being here has been probably 10 times more than in two years in Dublin ever apart from just this fantastic space then what else can you do for startup businesses 
So it's all about supporting those businesses, making introductions for the right people, whether that be investors or mentors or just other businesses that they can work together with. So my name is Jordi and I co-founded Juke Media along with Luke Quine. So after eight months of working at home, we just kind of got cabin fever from being in the same place, eating, sleeping and working at the same place. So we decided to move to accelerate places and within one week we landed a major client just getting coffee. What? So yeah. tell me, how does that work? It's like, I'm gonna go get a cup of coffee. I'm, I'm preparing it all, someone else comes and prepares a coffee. I introduce myself, I say we're a video production company. And they say, oh, we're looking for video guys. You guys wanna work together? Yeah, sure. And that was it. And still going strong? It's still going strong. Three <laughs> months later, still going strong, getting clients from them, getting referrals from them. It's, it's beautiful, it's a beautiful working relationship. I love that. So Luke's joined me from Levante, because Luke, it's best to say you're in and around the startup scene in Manchester. Yeah. I'm kind of, kind of finding out today what that scene is like. So from your perspective as a, a software developer, what do you see? Manchester has really changed a lot for the positive over the last five years. There's much more investment here. We've got some amazing unicorn brands such as Boohoo, um, Auto Trader, and the Hook Group. From a tech point of view, some amazing startups like Wakelet, Batsoma, and Push Doctor. Um, are really making waves and there's just much more support coming uh, from a lot of different associations like Manchester Digital, uh, Tech North as well and um, it's really really good. So this excites I'm here with John from Giant who are a specialist web development company and when Correct. I say specialist that's because you work in a certain sector? Yeah so we uh, are doing digital for good uh, so we work with charities and non-profits and uh, anyone who makes a difference Anyone, wow. anyone who helps us sleep a little bit better at night, you know, we're... Uh... So does this mean you were an ethical startup? We weren't. No, we weren't. Way back, we were chasing any job that we could. But then again, everyone in the industry was back then as well. You know, we've uh, come to this realisation over a period of years by finding out what we enjoy and the companies we like to work with and the right. people we like to work with. And, right. you know. we, we have another base in London and... By comparison, Manchester is just infinitely more accessible. We find that the you know the university system here is amazing in terms of you know doing technical work. People are a lot friendlier. Uh, I know that that's a cliche, but it is kind of true. Um, and then we've got you know all the benefits of the fact that it's we've kind of become the second city. We've got amazing nightlife, amazing cultural events. I don't think we'd be anywhere else. I really don't. Really? We're actually quite blown away. I've just met some of the coolest companies ever doing really good stuff here. And it seems that quite a lot of them actually got business by doing coffee at your coffee place. That's what it's about. It's really good, right? So this is a super fab space and it's only been open a few months. You've already got business going on and cool people here. So let's say there's Manchester businesses out there that are looking for somewhere. I know they're going to ask two things, right? And you know what one of these is going to be, right? <laughs> they're going to ask two things. One is, you know, have you got space and availability? You know, what's the parking like? And number two, what's this going to cost the startup to work here? Right. Sure. So yes, we've got space. We're, we're still growing. Um, we have got some desks available for people to move in. Right. And price, uh, we actually offer our first month free for all members. Right. And uh, the desk price is at 295 Great. So an individual can come in a freelancer, get a month free, and then you know work with you on moving forward and what the price is. Exactly. I mean, in fairness, that's a lot cheaper than getting an office or anything like that, isn't it? Everything's included. So your meeting rooms, your rates, your bills, your right. internet, everything. So right. you don't have to worry about it. And we want to take the hassle out of businesses so they can focus on their own growth rather yeah. than the admin and, and the offices. But I think for those prices, you've got massive space, loads going on, really energetic companies here. And also you're right in the centre of town. So you've got McDonald's around the corner. You've got the village here. You're on Portland Street near the transport links and everything, I guess. So. Yeah, everything's so close. So if you've got those important clients, coming up from London or if you're looking to meet investors then you've got the great meeting rooms you've got the access for everybody and also for your own staff coming in you can just jump on the tram yeah brilliant and what I love about this whole place is the meeting rooms are all named after famous Manchester people aren't they so you've got the Hacienda the Wilson room yep. Pankhurst a few that I've never heard of though in fairness like random mathematicians uh, Oller and Short yes very good mathematician, though, I'm, yes, I'm led she to was. believe. So, yeah, so you're really, you, you know, you're being really inclusive. You're very Manchester through and through. Of course. So I've really loved my time here down at Accelerate Places. It's no wonder I'm mad about Manchester when you meet the talent and enthusiasm and uh, success stories that are happening in these offices. I mean, this is what I love about this city. You can just walk down any road and not realise that inside these buildings there are new startups, there are uh, innovation and things that are being invented that will really change 
the way we work, live and play over the next 10 years. So what a great, great uh, day it's been, really enthusiastic. And I think the more and more of these places we can get that bring the best talent into our city, the greater opportunity this city has. And we can all stay mad about Manchester. <laughs>